Hey guys, as promised, um, my rehab routine for my L5 S1 disc herniation or disc bulge. A lot of you guys requested um, this one. I'll show you my routine. The first exercise that helped me to get back on track is McKenzie extension program, which is you just lie flat on your stomach. Right. First of all, you just relax. You should feel like you should should feel the back is now the back is more relaxed, and then you just put your elbows down and extend your back a little bit and you, f you may, may feel a pain which is now centralizing towards your spine and it's going away from your, um, from your sciatica which is going down your leg it's called centralization, it's a good sign if this feels comfortable you push yourself up breathe out, go down Push yourself up. And you do that around 10 times. Um, you push yourself up and then you relax on your elbows like two, three, four minutes. And you should feel how the pain goes more towards your spine and it will take the pain away from the sciatica. And in a couple of weeks, the sciatica will get less and less. So what this McKenzie extension program does, it pushes the, the bulging disc back from the spinal column so that the disc can close and heal again. So, but this process will take a couple of weeks, maybe months, but you should always try throughout the day to do this. I will show you again. Just relax like this. Push yourself up. Feel. Breathe. Relax like this for five minutes every every two to three hours and if it feels comfortable later like after a couple of weeks you just push yourself ten times up over your shoulder go down up go down and you go back onto your elbows and just relax a little bit and, and this you will feel how it gets better the pain will go more towards your spine and it, it will dissolve from going into your legs into your buttock into your calf so the sciatica will get weaker and the pain towards your, towards your center of your back will get more but that's a good sign so that's the first step for my recovery that's what I've done um, then every morning it helps to roll with the back row Take this beauty and just roll your glutes like this, roll them and you can roll your uh, hip flexors, the same, you just put it on the hip flexors and onto your um, quadriceps, to your quads and roll them out because they are also tight usually from sitting too long in a chair and you should avoid throughout the whole recovery process sitting in a chair because it's the worst thing what you can do if you have a disc herniation um, or disc bulge then of course hip flexors stretch for hip flexors pretty famous from yoga you squeeze your glutes you push your hip forward you take your hands up and you push your hip forward and you stretch and you push your hip forward you squeeze your glutes you will feel a stretch here, and even if you want more, lean to one side and you go back and you breathe back. I mean, try to stay in this position as long as possible. I sometimes try to do like five minutes and I switch side to side, I switch my sides. That's for the hip flexor. Then, one thing would help me for my glutes also you go in this position, 90 degree, you take your hip back, right? And then you take your chest and you try to push forward, take your like, stretch. Also like if possible five minutes to stretch your to stretch your glutes um, to release tension. One more stretch, um, similar to this one. Just now you don't focus uh, too much on the whole glutes. Take the leg in. It's from yoga and it also stretch the hip flexor and part of the piriformis muscle so you see
Um, just a note on the side, when you start the McKenzie extension at the beginning, just at the very beginning of your of the injury, uh, try to avoid any bending forward. Even, even this can be too much at the beginning to stretch your glutes. Or when you wake up in the morning, what the most people do, the biggest mistake is they want to check how far can I go forward, can I stretch, uh, can I touch my toes. It's the worst thing what you can do while having a back injury. Try to avoid putting strain on the back and try to avoid going forward. No forward, no flexion. Forward motion, no flexion at the beginning of your recovery from your back, okay? Not so funny part for the most of you guys. You gotta work hard on your core and really, if I mean hard, I mean really hard. Um, I would suggest learning long front planks, proper front, front planks, and um, you have your scapula in and shoulders in, and you breathe into your transverse stomach, yeah, shoulders in, squeeze your glutes, breathe into your stomach, shoulders back, in this, this position, your goal throughout the whole rehab should be able to execute five minutes, sounds crazy? But it is possible and it will make a strong front core and, and it will help you to, uh, to use your transversus abdominis stomach which is also a supporting muscle for the spine. So when you plank it's really important to breathe into the lower part of your stomach. So bring your, bring your stomach in to contract the transversus abdominis, really important muscle in spine stabilization. Um, Quick routine, I'll just make a walkthrough into my routine. I'll put in the description how long I do everything and how long I execute every exercise. I do swimmings, usually. And this one, from gymnastics. Basically like swimming. Squeeze your glutes, breathe into your, into your stomach. So, three minutes, maybe one minute at the beginning. And then I go into side plank. Like this, contracted everything, breathe into your stomach, maybe move your leg. Um, I usually do a minute of this one with a moving leg or static. Um, then I switch my side, then I do a front plank, um, then I do this one. Squeeze your glutes, breathe into your stomach. Um, you can just relax like this for five minutes, maybe three minutes, read a book, then if this is easy, you take one leg, you can do this one, switch, and just do a couple of sets, do the front leg, the side leg, the swimming, do like a couple of sets, a couple of rounds, get comfortable with the exercise, also Pull-ups, really good thing to stretch the spine. Every few days, pull-ups will help you a lot. Um, final step, when the pain is gone, when you have no sciatic anymore, when you feel stronger in your lower back, final step, learn to uh, sit in a flat foot squat. Like this, boom, comfortable. Not like the Western people, like this. Just flat footed, easy resting position. Learn to make it comfortable. Once you reach the final step of your recovery, and I hope by then your back is healed and you're back 100% into your sport or whatever you do in your daily life. Stay tuned on my channel, subscribe, like and share to your friends. Everybody deserves to be healthy and strong. Peace.